Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on pathophysiology of congestive heart failure. Let us understand the word congestive heart failure. The function of heart is to pump the blood. Heart failure means heart is not adequately pumping the blood. When it is not adequately pumping the blood, blood remains inside the heart. That results in blood pooling or blood congestion. So heart failure results in congestion of blood in heart. It is known as congestive heart failure. Now why it happens? There are three major dysfunctions are there. One systolic dysfunction. Systolic dysfunction means heart is not able to contract adequately. Systole means contraction. Now why it happens? It either happens because of long term hypertension or ischemia. Both of them may cause systolic dysfunction. Now second type is diastolic dysfunction. Diastolic dysfunction means heart is not adequately relaxing. Diastole means relaxation. Why it happens? It happens due to cardiac hypertrophy. Cardiac hypertrophy means cardiac heart chamber size is increased. When already size is increased, it cannot relax further more. This is called as diastolic dysfunction. Understand this one. When systolic heart failure is there, blood congestion in the heart increases. So blood pooling increases. To accommodate excess blood, heart size increases. This is called as cardiac hypertrophy. When cardiac hypertrophy is there, it results in diastolic heart failure or diastolic dysfunction. So systolic dysfunction leads to diastolic dysfunction. The third type is valvular dysfunction. When there is a problem in valves, that also results in heart failure. That is called as valvular dysfunction. Now, leaving that, to which reason heart failure or muscle is affected, that is also important. You have basically two things may happen. Left heart failure or right heart failure. Understand this one. Now see, left heart or left ventricle failure. What happens when left ventricle is failed to pump the blood? Now left ventricle pumps the blood to iota, oxygenated blood and which goes to each and every part of the body. Left ventricle gets blood from left atria. When left ventricle is not pumping blood properly, it has got blood pooling inside that. So left atria cannot pump the blood because already blood is there. So blood pooled in left atrium also. Now left atrium gets blood from lungs. So when left atrium is full with blood, lungs cannot pump the blood. So blood will get accumulated in the lungs. That is called as pulmonary edema. So left heart failure results in pulmonary edema. Fluid accumulation in the lungs which may cause apnea and dyspnea, breathing difficulty. Which is a dangerous condition. People cannot breathe, oxygenation will not occur, perfusion decreases, death may also occur. <clears throat> Second type, what happens when there is right heart failure? Now when right heart is failed, right ventricle is not pumping the blood. Now when right ventricle pumps the blood, it goes to lungs. It is not pumping properly, so blood is accumulated in the right ventricle. Now, right ventricle gets the pump from vena cavas. Vena cavas cannot pump their blood into ventricle, right ventricle, because already blood is there. So, all the vena cavas veins will be full of blood. That results in peripheral edema and visceral edema, fluid accumulation in visceral part. So, left ventricle failure results in pulmonary edema. Right ventricle failure results in peripheral edema and visceral edema. This is the pathophysiology of congestive heart failure. Thank you.